They've gone on the man advantage. St. Lawrence hasn't been able to set up anything yet. Good look here, shot from the doorstep, rebound, score! Alex Gilmore buries the second opportunity. And on the first power play of the night, St. Lawrence capitalizes for the 1-0 lead. And they've got to love seeing this from Gilmore, their senior. He had a team-high five power play goals last year, none this season until now. UConn players, usually you're able to rely on Vamashka, so okay, we'll take care of the rest if he's between the pipes, but now maybe you want to do a little bit more. From the point, New Power sends it in, and it's Zetterquist who lets it squeak through the five hole. The Huskies have tied it up at one. Well, that might erase the narrative for Zetterquist, who is having a terrific first half in this game, but just 11 seconds beyond the midway point, inexplicably lets this one go through. Clearly, it snuck up on even strength for St. Lawrence. And Pysov, he can score on the power play. We know that. Risto, opportunity, backhander, saved by Stone, follow-up, score! A turnover by Wyatt Newpower. He scored the goal to tie it, and St. Lawrence with Jordan Steinmetz getting the goal to put the Saints back ahead. Well, it won't go down as shorthanded, but feels that way after they're able to kill off the penalty. They come right back, and Steinmetz, who created the rebound on the first goal for St. Lawrence, is able to clean up the rebound for the other go-ahead goal. He's having quite a game one. In the Hangs with the puck. Valuable seconds ticking away for the Huskies. Back out to Azakov. He holds with 10 to go. Low opportunity, Payasov kicked aside. Final seven seconds to go. Azakov, one-timer across the blue line. Berger, wrist shot, blocked, follow-up, no. Rebound, score! Just before the whistle. Yukon has tied it up with just tenths of a second remaining. I don't think I've ever seen it come closer to the horn than this, and it warrants a second look, no question. On the rebound again, he buries it. Wow, what a finish to Ray. Flynn through some traffic and a great reaction on the tip by Zetterquist. Uh, right now, you just got to get the puck out of the zone if you're St. Lawrence. Look at a nice line change here with the frozen puck, but man, UConn is feeling good and they're playing extremely well. Uh, that late goal might just propel them to a, a great weekend overall, not just a great overtime frame, which is what we've seen in the left glove. Been a little earlier in this pecking order. Carter Turnbull, four goals, four assists this season. In on Zetterquist, the shot, score! UConn takes game one of the Ledger Classic. And it was a classic with Payasov sending it to overtime with three tenths of a second to go. And then an eight round epic of a shootout. Nice and easy showing the poise. And on the blocker side of Zetterquist, the game is won and they mob the goaltender. And man, did he deserve it. Bradley Stone, the hero of the hour. That's gonna be a career highlight for the junior from London. What a moment for him and what a win for UK.